controversy has derailed Dutch billionaire Tob Cohen's post-mortem exam. Cohen's estranged wife, Sarah Wairimo's lawyer, rejected the government pathologist who was to carry out the autopsy, claiming he was part of the DCI team that recovered Cohen's body on Friday. Wairimo's lawyer demanding the chief government pathologist, Johansson Odor, undertakes the exercise on Wednesday. The lead government pathologist in Tob Cohen's murder inquest stepped down after nearly an hour of pre post mortem meeting. Sarah Wairimus defensed him, questioning the partiality of Dr. Peter Ndegwa. This after his apparent involvement in the recovery of Tob Cohen's body from his residence backyard. And they picked up some, 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 something I said or rather mentioned to the DCI at the alleged crime scene and they happen not to be very happy with that and they have requested that I should not continue representing the government or the DCI in this case uh, and uh, they feel that maybe they be, it will be prejudiced. As such, the post-mortem has been rescheduled to Wednesday morning to be conducted by Chief Government Pathologist Johansen Odor, who has been recalled from leave. The postponement devastating Cohen's family, who had planned to bury him within 36 hours in accordance with the Jewish culture. As you know, justice has to be seen to be done. And therefore we have accepted or agreed as a team that because of that, uh, that feeling, we should uh, postpone this examination to tomorrow morning with Dr. Johansson or Duol. This does not change the scenario. This does not change the, the results. This does not change the investigation going on. It shall go on. Only that we cannot discuss what else can be the results of the, of the, of the postmortem and all that. Sarah Wairimu's lawyer, Philip Murgor, also wants Sarah to be present in Wednesday's exercise. Murgor claiming Sarah has not positively identified her late husband's body and that Cohen's sister is an interested party to be the only one to ID Cohen's remains. I don't know whether she can call herself a victim, but then again, if she wants to identify the body, let her come and identify the body so that she does not bring any other technical issues at a later stage. Uh, so let her identify if she can be able to make it, but tomorrow 9.30, because of the family problem, the family needs to have this body buried. They need to travel back. They are living in the hotel. It's getting expensive, paying for these expenses for the X-ray and the CT scan and all that. They need to have a closure. The autopsy is supposed to reveal Tob Cohen's cause of death. The Dutch businessman went missing at the end of July only for his body to be retrieved from an underground water tank in the backyard of his Kitusuru home Friday last week. Sam Oginasiruza in TV, Nairobi.